Hey everyone, now that we've switched over to Slack from Facebook, I wanted to do a quick little video to show you guys um, some of the things on how to use Slack to edit your notifications, um, to look at your account. I know it can be kind of confusing when we start new stuff, so here's just a quick little video of some of the stuff on Slack to hopefully make it easier for everyone. So once you log into Slack, this is the desktop version. Um, this is what it will look like. So you can see up here in this right hand corner, here's my picture. It shows this is my account. If I click on it, it will show you, um, you can update your status. You can pause your notifications. So if you're going on vacation or trying to just detox from social media for a little while, you can see, you can click on here. I could pause it for two hours. I can pause it till tomorrow. I can say custom and pause it for a couple days. Um, so that's always an option. You can always edit your profile from here as well. If I click on that, it'll show you here's my name. Here's what my name is displayed like. Um, obviously, this is showing this is what my job is. Here's my phone number. You guys are already have it anyways. But um, if for any reason you needed to edit anything for your profile, here's where you would go. You could remove a picture if you don't want your picture on there. You could upload a different picture as well. If you make any changes, you'll just want to make sure that you come down here and you click save changes. OK, so from here, if we go over to the left hand side, this is where you're going to find all of the things that you need to be in communication with people. So um, I have probably a few more channels than most people, um, but everyone should have this all cornerstone channel. So that's what I'm clicked on right now. And um, you can see, you can scroll through here. This is where people post about any sort of things. So um, Barry posted um, an idea from Ellie Wright about donating to PRC during the holidays. Um, here is a lost and found post from me. So when you see these posts, there's a couple different things that you can do. Um, if you look down here, I can pick on Janice because she's my grandma. Um, so if you see Janice's post right here, you can see down here at the bottom, there's been a couple people who have either loved the post, given it a thumbs up, said that they're praying. Um, if you, if I was to click on this, it will just add the same thing. It'll add a heart. If you wanted to add a different emoji, you are gonna click right here where there's this little face and it says add reaction. If you click on that, it will bring up all sorts of emojis for you guys to use. And you can always type in here too, um, and it will bring up ones that are linked to that word. Um, so then you would just click on it and it'll add it onto here. Um, the other thing that you can do on a post is we'll look at this post from Barry um, talking about things from Ellie. So if I wanted to comment on here and say, oh, I have stuff that I would like to donate, you can actually come right here and it will say reply in the thread. So what this is going to do, it'll pop up over here. I'm now replying directly to this post. If I were to just type Right here, you can see it says message all cornerstone. That's going to come up as a completely separate post, even though I might be replying to what Barry says. So if you see something and you're wanting to reply directly to that post, again, you'll just want to click on this little comment box over here. And then it, it'll usually pop up over on this right side. And you can see it says reply. I could type in here and say, oh, I have things I'd like to donate um, and then just press enter or you can do the little um, the send bar. Um, so that's one way to reply within a post to kind of keep things streamlined. Um, so after I reply on here, I can always click out of this and it will just take me back right here. Um, so again, there's all these different channels over here on the right side. If you're in Cornerstone Women, you could click on here. It'll take you to that different thread. Um, another thing, in these threads and something to note is each thread can be customized to have different notification settings. So the way that you want to do that is you would go up here to this little information bar. You're going to click on this eye in the circle and it's going to give you details about this thread. So it'll tell you here's all of the members. I could click on that and it will show me here's all of the people in here. 
Um, you could pin things. It'll tell you about this channel. So to change your notifications, you're going to want to go to this more option. Click on that and you're going to want to select change notifications. So I have mine set for every new message. That means any time that someone posts in this thread, I get a notification for it. There's only three options on here. Um, so if I changed it to just mentions, someone would need to type the at symbol and then my name to tag me in it. And that's the only way I would get a notification. So I keep mine on every new message just so that I don't miss something in case someone doesn't tag me in it. Um, if you're getting too many notifications, you could say nothing. Or again, you could go back to that thread and you could pause notifications. This box down here, if I wanted to have different settings for on my computer versus on my phone, I could click this button. I actually have it set the same as my phone right now um, so that I get all notifications in case I need them for work. Um, but you could always click here if you wanted it different. So maybe on your computer, you don't want it to be popping up notifications and you could say nothing. But on your phone, you would like to get notifications. You would click this button. And then right here, it will show you these are the same options as above, but this is what you would like it to be for on your phone or your mobile device. So I have mine set to be the same, but if you wanted to change them, this is also an option. So once you click on those, it automatically saves and you can just exit out of there. Same thing over here. Once I've um, fixed everything that I want to fix, I can just click out and it's going to take me right back here. All right. And then over again on this left side, we'll go down. So these are our channels that we just talked about. If we scroll down, these are where we would have any direct messages. So if someone is wanting to message with you specifically, um, they can email you through here and then it's a private message just between you and that person. Or as you can see, um, you can add several people to a message as well. Um, so if you're wanting to talk with maybe your small group or your Bible study about something, you could make a little group chat over here as well. All right, I think that is pretty much it for the desktop version of Slack. If you guys have any questions or need any help getting Slack set up, please let me know. You can email me at my Cornerstone email address or feel free to call me on my cell number. It's in Breeze. Um, I think that's it. Thanks, guys.